Hello and welcome to episode 4 with L'Anglais c'est pas sorcier. Today we are discovering 5 fantastic women to celebrate women and girls in science day. But what exactly is women and girls in science day? It was invented by the United Nations on the 22nd of December 2015 to acknowledge the critical role that women and girls play in science, engineering and technology. Today, I'm going to tell you about five spectacular women scientists. Quant aux notions que ce cours va nous permettre de voir ou de revoir, ça concerne le prétérit, verbe irrégulier régulier, la date, les nombres, le superlatif et quelques adjectifs de nationalité. Sans oublier le petit exercice de la fin. Ready? Let's get started then! Woman scientist number one, Marie Curie. Marie Slodowska was born in Warsaw, Poland. She was Polish. Later, she married Pierre Curie in Paris. With her husband, she discovered radium and polonium, two new radioactive elements. Together, they won the Nobel Prize in Physics for their exceptional discoveries in the field of radioactivity. Their work had profound implications for the advance of medicine, such as treating cancerous tumors. She became the first person ever to be awarded two Nobel Prizes. Woman scientist number two, Maria Montessori. Maria Montessori was an Italian doctor and educator. In the early 20th century, she developed an educational method known as the Montessori method. Very different from the public education system, Montessori's method aims at helping children develop their potential and creativity. She worked and helped hundreds of Italian children in the poorest of slums. Her method has been recognized as one of the most efficient by neuroscience to learn. It continues to help millions of children enjoy learning all across the world to this day. Woman scientist number three, Dr. Camilla Roth. She is a German scientist from Germany. She has had a unique role to play during the coronavirus crisis. She proved that asymptomatic people with the virus can contaminate others. She rang the alarm in January, but almost nobody wanted to believe her, not even the WHO. Dr. Kamira Roth's findings have helped fight the coronavirus pandemic and countless lives. The Times magazine has selected her as one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2020. Woman scientist number four, Jane Goodall. Jane is a British pioneer and expert in the protection of chimps. She studied chimpanzees in their natural habitat for 60 years. She spent decades watching them in Tanzania, Africa. Her institute is currently protecting more than 5,000 gorillas and chimps all across the world. Woman scientist number five, Mae Jemison. Mae is an American engineer, physician, and former NASA astronaut. She became the first black woman to travel into space in 1992. She has received countless honorary degrees for her accomplishments. She even appeared on an episode of Star Trek, her favorite series. She is a vocal advocate of human and children's rights and one of the most accomplished women scientists in the whole world. Et pour terminer, comme toujours, quelques petits proverbes reliés à la science. It's not rocket science, c'est pas sorcier. To push one's buttons. Don't push my buttons. Ne m'énerve pas, ne me provoque pas. To blow a fuse, c'est familier. Péter un câble. To be in the same wavelength, être sur la même longueur d'onde. Et pour le petit exercice d'aujourd'hui, Voici trois petites phrases. Marie et Pierre Curie ont gagné le prix Nobel de physique en 1907. Maria Montessori a éduqué des millions d'enfants. Et enfin, le docteur Car Camilla Roth a découvert que les personnes asymptomatiques pouvaient contaminer les autres avec le coronavirus. Réponse la semaine prochaine. Mais en attendant, n'hésitez pas à me laisser vos propositions dans les commentaires sous la vidéo. Et pour vous aider, une petite fiche de révision. Les verbes réguliers au prétérit vus dans la leçon. Mary, married. Study, studied, même prononciation. Educate, educated. Select, selected. Discover, discovered. Et pour les verbes irréguliers, aïe aïe aïe, ça change la, la terminaison. Être né, to what she was or you were born. 
become, became, qu'on a déjà vu auparavant, win, won, have, had, et puis spend, spent. Et pour notre vocabulaire du jour, on a vu WHO, World Health Organization, l'OMS, Infectious Disease Specialist, spécialiste en maladies infectieuses, Animal Wealth, le bien-être animalier, German or Germany, Allemagne, Allemand, et enfin British for Britain, être britannique ou venir de Grande-Bretagne. Celui qu'on attendait tous, enfin, la correction du dernier exercice. Chocolate is one of the healthiest foods in the world. La deuxième. In the 1930s, a box of chocolates was the most expensive gift or present. Et la troisième. January is the coldest month in the year. En français, c'est de l'année. En anglais, c'est dans l'année. N'oubliez pas de vous abonner si vous voulez progresser avec nous en anglais chaque semaine. Have a good week, friends, and see you next Friday.